So I think, you know, it doesn't make sense to be sitting down during this interview. I feel very awkward. It's like I want to dance with you. You did such an amazing job Thank in you. this. Thank did you, you really much. enjoy getting to yes. this opportunity to do this? I, I, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I enjoy very much playing a person that, like Pierre Dulaine, so generous and so altruistic. You yes. Know. Absolutely, yes, yes. Listen up, everybody. Mr. Delane here is running your detention, and you will do whatever Mr. Delane says. So what kind of teacher are you? I teach uh, ballroom dancing. <laughs> I'm hoping, though, that this will continue, that you know, the younger generation will do ballroom dancing, because I think it is, it's so, it's, it, it has, it's strict, but it's sensual, and it has so many things. It's not, it it's is, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. And, and also, I love how, you know, we will, you know, when people see the movie, they'll see the hybrid that's created out of a couple of dance forms. There's a lot of excitement, you know, to come from it. Mr. Delane just getting his flirt on. I heard you, uh, you're very professional and that the kids said they had a great time going to your, your apartment and playing video games. And I'm like, what a great guy, you know? Sometimes we just got together and uh, there was a purpose for that, you know, I mean, we can just meet each other in the working place and just have rehearsals and dance and stuff like that. But it's, it's better if we just have some space in which we feel a little bit more uh, free. Yeah. And then you can, we can talk to each other in a different context. And I think it, that collaborated actually to put the people together and bond together as a group. Yeah. He thought teaching them would make a difference. Positions, please. Quick, quick. Slow. Mm, mm, mm. Hey. So did you learn how to hip-hop? Did the kids teach you? Yes, I can't hip-hop, of course not, but but I, I admire it and respect them so much. And this is what I do with the, with the children, you know, in, in the actual schools. I don't turn my nose up at hip-hop with them, you know? That's your music, this is today's music, fine, I'll meet you halfway, put it on for five minutes, at the end of the lesson, let's do a line dance to it. When they meet me here, I'll meet them there. Break it down, break it down. What is the name of the move you just did? I ain't got no name, what you looking at is history in the making. Your music with uh, my music. Check this out. What was it like for you guys, um, you know, because, I mean, growing up, you know, in school, you, the way we dance as kids, like, we're all kind of grinding up on each other. It's not very romantic, but this is very sensual and almost more intimate. Did you guys notice that when you guys were dancing? It's very personal, um, and, and Pierre used to stress a lot, uh, you know, look, look at her, you know, it, well, not to look down, but not to just look up in the space, but look at your partner right. and engage them and smile and have fun. Yeah. And the yeah. eye connection big, huh? Yeah, right. it's, so it's definitely sensual, but it's also very respectful, right. too, in other ways. Because you could say that the kind of dance that you were referring to was sensual, but yeah. it's, you know, it's it's not, it, just all that vulgarity is just out the window. It's just such a beautiful conversation between two people. You're facing each other, you're talking yeah. without words. Why would you encourage kids to, to start doing this or telling parents, like, this is so important for your kids to get involved in uh, dance? Life is very challenging nowadays, that we forget what it feels like to be good to one another. And ballroom dancing really brings out the good things. When you put a boy and a girl in front of each other, uh, good positive feelings. And then when you move as one, it's, a, it's an elation that they have. And if we can then, capture these feelings and nurture them in the young kids, whether you're 12 years old, 14 or 17 year old kids. You know, these are the skills that can be transferred into adulthood and remain with them. He studied with eight kids. Now, 9,000 kids are dancing in schools in America. There are 34 professors. Probably this is gonna jump out of the borders. It's gonna go all around the world. But the reflection is that. The reflection is that art can be very useful. Feel the beat. Moves like that won't get you no play around here. Trust me, I've tried it. Oh, I got plenty of play. <laughs>